Hello beautiful people, welcome to December 2019. So these 12 readings are for your moon, your sun, your rising, your Venus. You can watch it for cross watching too, which is when you're watching it for a, a loved one, somebody close to you, you want to know what's going on for them. Um, what else do I need to tell you? If you're new here, I'm Julie. I'm a, an intuitive channeler, psychic, healer, hypnotherapist and coach. So don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Click the like button, share and let's crack on. Get yourself a tea, a coffee and let's see what December has in store for you. Hello Pisces and welcome to December my darling people. I love you guys. You are just awesome. You give me so much support. You're often usually the highest uh, monthly figures of people watching me the most views. Pisces, thank you. I love you. All right, let's see what we've got for you for December. We're going to have one animal card. This is the animal spirit. So what is the overall no, I didn't want to come. I thought it was that one. It was like, nope, I'm not coming. It's that one. Okay. Canary spirit. <laughs> right. Canary spirit. Sing your own song. Not anybody else's. Yours. Sing your own song. Sing it loud. Sing it proud. And sing it brightly. Because that canary, bright yellow, notice me coming from the solar plexus, coming from that place of confidence. I know who I am. I am awesome. Singing your own song. So what does that mean, singing your own song? This is about your truth. All right. So doing what feels right for you, saying, speaking, expressing what feels right for you. Get out of that, the, the mask, follow the sheep thing. OK, everybody else is doing it that way. Do it your way. All right. I am enough exactly as I am. My way is right for me. Doesn't have to be right for you. It's not for you. It's for me. I'm doing what's right for me. That's your overall energy for the month, Pisces. Singing your own song, my darling. OK, let's have a look what the tarot want to tell you. What have you got for Pisces for me, please? We're going to have lots of different cards here. I'm going to just go to the ones that I'm told to go to for you, my darlings. I've got about nine packs of cards on the table and we will know when it's done so stay tuned till the end don't you go anywhere have you got your coffee are you comfy oh julie on the sofa i yeah, know so an oscar for those who haven't seen him before don't know if you can see him down there scrunched up against my leg but there he is all right tell me more about this canary spirit for my pisces please Page of Pentacles. He just came out for Aquarius and you just saw me shuffle those up to within an inch of their life. And bottom of the deck, I've got Page of Cups. So we've got two pages, Pisces, and pages herald in the beginning of change, the very start of change. It's almost the germination stage, not the birth stage, OK? But it, all change has to start somewhere. So when we've got two pages coming out like this, there is a definite message of pay attention, look for the signs. Um, what else does she want to say? Hang on, my angel's just chatting a minute in my ear. Watch for the signs, pay attention. Don't turn down any offers, although she's putting a caveat on that. Hold on. Right, don't turn down any offers that make you feel excited, make you feel good, make you feel enthusiastic. Even if they make you feel a bit nervous, that's okay. But do turn down ones that give you that pit in your stomach dread ooh, thing. Turn them down. But she said, that's not what this is about. So she's bringing that in because this is a reading for December. We've got Christmas. You will get invited to see family you can't stand. You will get invited to go to parties with people you can't stand. You can say no to those. <laughs> right. But these are opportunities, options, things opening up that are going to bring in more happiness, more money and more security. So singing your own song is a very important part of that. 
Yeah, really important part of that. My canary sitting there saying, I'm not singing anybody else's song. I'm not doing the nightingale, even though the nightingale can sing better than me. I'm singing my song, my canary song. Right, so why are you telling me that, please? All right, they're chatting. Um, because some of you will say, I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. They're better than me. I can't compete. Um, they've been there longer. Uh, whether this is about work, whether this is about business, whether this is about love or romance, there is this sense of, um, yeah, don't compete with the nightingale. Just be you. Just be you. I am enough exactly as I am. Or another page. Oh, my God. There's no ifs or buts here. You <laughs> Three pages now, all right? The page of wands change 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 and all of it positive change okay the tarot has um four fives in it obviously fives are change but it can be quite difficult change pages are about opportunities options offers stuff coming in that is this is like oh my god pisces what's going on for you in december there is so much shifting forward because of the work that you've done you have set your goals, you have manifested, you have journaled, you have prayed, you have been very clear in your own mind about what it is you want. And now the universe is saying, okie dokie, we've heard you, you're aligned, you've got your ducks in a row, and now we can bring it in. So watch with December because everything is unfolding to bring in this change for you, to bring in this newness, but it's essential that you are singing your own song. Okay, right, let's see what the wisdom of the oracle want to tell you. Now then, tell me more about all this lovely new stuff for my Pisces. Three pages, oh my days. What's going on? Well, that one wants to come. They're giving you clean it up, all right, clean it up. Uh, this is decluttering, cleansing, um, clearing out anything toxic, anything that doesn't serve you, including those thoughts in your mind that go, but, but, if maybe I can't, uh, all right, clean it up. You've got a beautiful stag here holding, <laughs> uh, holding in its gob. Uh, a cleaning uh, feather duster, all right? This is clean it up. As we clean up our space around us, it really does impact on our energy, our heart, our, our mind psychologically. We feel there's more space. I can think clearly. Now, why? Because those three pages coming in are bringing in something new. Something new needs to have somewhere to go. Otherwise, it bounces back off. So we need to create a space. Now, we do that by cleaning everything up. As we clean and clear and declutter, it creates a space for something new to come in. So they're just telling me, and this is only for some of you, those of you that are self-employed, um, there will be some clients you don't, don't enjoy working with and it's not, you know, you don't look forward to it. It's okay to actually exit some clients out of your life to create some space for new ones to come in that do align, that do work, right? Apply that however that applies for you. But we are letting stuff go that we no longer need in order to be ready for this new stuff to come in. That's really important. What else do you want to tell my Pisces, please? No? Okay. Tell me when then, that one, okay. Right, you cleaned it up and now we're mending, all right? Mending, all right? This is an energy, she's got a needle and thread there. She sat on a, 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 a reel of cotton. Um, she's mending, repairing, right? Now sometimes, right, this is all linked with this one here of cleaning it up. Sometimes we wanna chuck it in the bin. Sometimes we wanna repair it because it's damaged but it's not too damaged that it can't be fixed. Now, for some of you, this is a relationship, a romantic relationship that needs a good clean up. There's some disrespect going on, or there's some taking for granted going on, or there's some um, arguing and difficulties going on. So it needs to be cleaned up in terms of you laying down your ground rules, not laying down the law, laying down your ground rules about that's not okay that is and then you're mending it 
So after you've laid down your ground rules, you're then able to put some effort and work in to mend it, repair it, go and have a date night, have some us time to pull it back together after you've done a little bit of changing it up. All right, what else is this in relation to, please? Mending it. Okay, they want you to have a look at some of your beliefs and mend them. Where you have a belief that you're broken, you're not broken. You might be dented, battered and bruised, but you're not broken. All right. And where does your spirit need mending? Perhaps you need some some love and some affection and some hugs. Perhaps you need some family time. Where do you need mending? All right. Focus on that as well, they're saying. OK, what else do you want me to tell my lovely Pisces, please? What else have you got for my Pisces? Right, that one by the book okay doing it by the book we've got herd of elephants here they're very traditional they're very fair they're very just everything is in balance by the book do, do it properly no cutting corners no um turn a blind eye to that do it by the book honesty justice fairness doing it by the book apply this as it applies to you my loves okay i've got the bottom of the deck why why oh there's another one underneath there why doing it by the book this is for some of you who are leaving something behind because these two have come out together that it's time to go as you question why why do i need to do it by the book why do i need to do it properly because it's about fairness and justice and balance on karma. What goes around comes around, my darling. And if you do it like there, that's what there is going to come back to you, right? So time to go. If you are leaving a relationship, don't go sneaking off while they're at work and leave them a dear John letter or a dear Mary letter. Tell them face to face. Do it properly by the book. If you're unhappy in your relationship, don't go off and have an affair. Do it by the book. Deal with the relationship first. Whether it can be fixed, whether it needs to end, then go off and meet somebody else. Do it properly. Do it by the book. And the reason for this is that those of you that are leaving time to go, um, doing it properly, doing it fair, that's what's going to come back to you, that you will be treated with fairness, that you will receive other people doing it properly with you okay so those of you time to go that are leaving a, a, a job a home don't cut corners yeah some of you may be leaving a rental and thinking oh, i i don't need to clean it i don't care it's not me going to be living there mm. that'll come back on you do it properly do it by the book leave it all spick and span the way you would want to find it whatever this is applying for you do it by the book, okay? There's a little advice message there for you. I want one more. No, I don't. We're putting those away. We're going to the answer is simple cards. The answer is simple. All the links for the cards are below, okay, my loves? So if you're interested in these cards, they're linked below for the UK and America. But if you're not in those countries, as a lot of you are not, because the world doesn't revolve around uh, America and uh, Britain. I know. It doesn't. I know. <laughs> if you're not there, just you can uh, cut and paste it into Amazon of, of your country and it'll show you those those cards. All right, my loves. Also, I bought all of mine from America, um, Amazon America, um, because I had some credit there and they were delivered to the UK. So um, mostly they will deliver internationally. All right. What else? What else have we got for my Pisces, please? These two. All right, what have we got? Connect with your soul family and thank God. Oh, okay, that's nice. All right, we've got a beautiful card here. He's on his knees in a beautiful, what, little desert island looking at that ship coming in. He's on his knees and he is praying, thanking God, thanking God for that ship coming in to rescue him. That's my feeling here with these. I haven't read the book. These are new cards that I got from America um, that got delivered to me in England. Thank God something good is coming in and we are giving thanks and praise. And what a good time to do it, Christmas. OK, thank God. All right. Now, connecting with your soul family, the way they are in a circle, they're holding hands. 
uh, around that tree the connection of your soul family now that can be with people that you are connected with in real life but it can also be that energetically you have a soul family out there somewhere across all space time and dimensions asking them to help you connect with them through your third eye through your prayers through your intentions that your soul tribe your soul family that you're needing their support their guidance their strength whatever it is that you need in connecting with them and thanking god because there is something good coming in here for you pisces oh my days oh, how fabulous all right that's all i have for you have a blessed wonderful december happy christmas to you all keep an eye out towards christmas will be an extra little bonus reading that week hoping I've got time to do it but I'm going to try um, and also um, have a look at the weeklies as well just because they're not per sign doesn't mean there's nothing in there for you they'll give you a really good heads up of what is going on so have a blessed December thank you for watching and if you like what you see and you haven't already please subscribe and click that little bell give it a thumbs up and a share it all supports the work that I do and this channel and helps more people find me that I can help and helped them to heal, inform, inspire, uplift, guide, which is always my intention. Thank you for watching, Pisces. You take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.